When I was very young, the Earth Empire controlled the skies. The Tsar and his battle fleet saw everything, knew everything, punished everything. Those of us in the colonies never imagined there could be another way. But then, the real slaughter began. Welcome, welcome one and all to one of my personal favourite underrated PS1 games. This is Colony Wars. A rare example of a PS1 game that has actually aged half decently. It's clunky, it's limited, and uh, behind the kind of disguise of the spaceship thing that kind of covers up the fact that it's pretty damn ugly. This is actually an immensely stylish game by Cygnosis, never forget our IP. And uh, I just... It's just wonder... It, the, well, but, Words are difficult, okay, I will try and uh, form a coherent thought for once in this. I'm trying to, supposed to be defending some prisoners or some nonsense here, but there's just so much to talk about with Colony Wars. First and foremost, this is a beautiful game, aesthetically, which means, which is precisely why it's kind of held up longer than uh, a lot of other PS1 games have, because it actually has a style to it, which means that it'll actually might age somewhat decently, whereas if you try to make graphics realistic then they inevitably just end up looking crap five years later. Well this here has a style, it's got be I love the kind of Babylon 5 designs of the spaceships when, uh, when the little ships are all darty and flying around or like nippy and then the big ones are really heavy and they move slowly and they just they just look like they have weight to them. Uh, some prisoners are trying to escape now. Obviously, I must kill all of them. Kill all of them. Uh, oh, Craggy. Um, the, uh, the cutscenes in Colony Wars are stupidly beautiful. They do hold up quite well. Uh, and they have a guy who sounds like James Earl Jones doing the voice on the cutscenes. So <laughs> that's that's quite an amusing thing. Uh, and in particular. I don't want to give specific spoilers, but Connolly Wars actually has a story that's w pretty well told as far as just a bunch of cutscenes go. And in particular, the canonical ending from that the sequels follow on from. There are multiple endings, but there's only one, like, canonical one. The canonical ending to Connolly Wars is one of the most unexpectedly badass conclusions I've ever seen to a game. It is legitimately like a... it's like... We won, but in the most cowardly, bastardly way possible. That's what the ending is, you know, without giving, going into specifics. And for a game that it can just be enjoyed as a stupid spaceship shooter, it is a surprising gut punch of an ending. And um, this is going to be a supremely short video, so a part of me wants to actually just show you one of those cutscenes. But they're all on YouTube, so you can find them. Another note must be said, you may have noticed... Uh, the music! The music is stupidly wonderful. I might just load up another level, because why the hell not? This is my game, I do what I like! Uh, the... Oh, they're all so good. But the music by um, his name, who I've forgotten. What's he called? He's got a... he's called Cold Storage, is his like, made-up name, but I can't remember what his real name is. Is it Will Tim Wright or something? Probably. Cold Storage Colony Wars on Google, you'll find it. He gives away all the music for free, so bloody good thank you to him. You know, you could have easily charged millions for such a glorious soundtrack. It has this beautiful kind of like orchestral spaciness to it. And a lot of the tunes are really simple but really catchy and epic -y. Like they feel like battle music, like do 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 and has that kind of PlayStation midiness to it. One of my favourite things about the music though is that um continuing the supremely terrible video that is just being done for experimental purposes mainly and also to show off one of my favourite underrated games. Uh moving the strike cannons, let's do that one, because why not? One of my favourite what was I gonna say? Oh, God. Yeah, one of my favorite things about the music is that um, this game is so old that it cannot play music and 
voices at the same time. So the the music will be going, and then someone will say, "Oh no, my spaceship exploded," and the music will be interrupted, and then start over from the beginning once the voice clip ends. That's so awesomely quaint. That's the oh, oh, ah. St what was that maneuver? We were going in a straight line, and then you just did a flip and came straight back at me. I take no responsibility from that. But oh. Oh, I love these things. Let's go into the first person. I like the first person mode as well, just because you've got a big cockpit. It's like, oh, it's like I'm really there. It's like I'm playing X2 or something. I'm rambling quite a bit. That's that's pretty normal. But look, I love these things. They're just big guns with engines on the back. You know what they do? They just maneuver them around a moon or a big ship or something and just fire them. That's all they are. I may okay. I may have to actually put one of the beautiful cutscenes for this game in here, but. Oh, I'm terribly afraid of the cutscene. Well, for some reason, someone somewhere will have copyrighted the cutscenes to Colony Wars, and that will just get me banned on YouTube, no doubt. That appears to be how YouTube works these days. You'll find some obscure thing you don't think anyone will remember, but they do. Uh, uh, but yes, Colony Wars, it's on PlayStation. The sequel, I've only really played the first sequel, Vengeance. Vengeance is also very good. I just, it just kind of, it just didn't do enough new stuff to really be terribly interesting, is my opinion of it. Uh, and the third one is, I have not really played enough of it to have an opinion, but it didn't give me a good first impression. But Conley Wars, it costs nothing, it's on PlayStation, it'll work in a PS2 and a PS3, probably not a PS4 to my understanding, but whatever, you can also get a, I have a lovely emulator on the PC that runs this, but this is a physical copy I have here, so I feel no guilt about using an emulator. I just love just even some of the effects, like um, when something is in front of a sun, there are always all these cool suns you're fighting in front of, and when something goes in front of the sun there's like this effect of the silhouette, it's oh, oh it's so cool, and now I'm going to show you one of my favourite things as well. If you deliberately attack friendly friendly craft, they uh, they actually start attacking you, and if you don't get blown up quickly enough, they just engage the self-destruct. Oh crap, missiles! Missiles! They engage the self-destruct. Oh jeez. Something blew up. If, if you engage the self they engage the self-destruct, then you get an incredibly grim cutscene. Well, you're hopefully about to see it in a second if I don't die. Come on, escape! 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 Oh, oh, I'm bumping into something. I couldn't see what I was bumping into. Uh, yes, here we go, auto-destruct. This is what I love about Conley Wars, you think it's just a big, dumb spaceship game, which it is, but at the same time it has this surprisingly grim space opera tone, and you're like, holy crap, I'm a horrible person. That, that, uh, come on now, go to the ending, don't make me put a big edit here. Or do they give you like a countdown or something, I can't remember. I'm just going to shoot wildly and hope for the best. There we go, look! And you can manoeuvre your spaceship for a second after the escape pod ejects. I don't know where my escape pod is, it seems to have vanished somewhere. There we go, the depressing cutscene where it's like, you are an evil bastard, and so we're going to sentence you to- oh. And then I accidentally skipped the cutscene. <laughs> but it shows you in an escape pod, being chased by a bunch of guys who were there to like execute you, because you're a traitor. And I miss crap like that from games, just memorable little weird moments where it's like, you are bastards, so we're going to hunt you down in our spaceships. But that's Connolly Wars, it's uh, it's freaking beautiful for a PS1 game, it's pretty da- I, you know, I'm not saying it's brilliant, it's a stupid spaceship game where you shoot crap and it blows up, but it has a really awesome style that I like. Uh, it, oh, look, stuff like this. You can go into the menu, and every ship you see in the game, it gives you a little data entry on. Look at this. Look. It's so cool. They have the weird robot lady talking to you about them and everything. It's like, oh. Love it so much. So much love is happening. They actually took this out. I remember they took this out of the sequels. And I was so angry because I love this so much. And um, oh, I also say uh, the <laughs> I, I always loved the last level in Colony Wars because it's like you, a single spaceship versus something the size of the Death Star, 
with the appearance of three Enterprises strapped together. That's the final boss. You have to blow up this Super Titan, is what it's called. And I've never finished this game without cheats, because it just gets dickish, I swear. But yeah, Colony Wars, it's fun. Probably more fun than watching this video was, because this is a terrible console recording experiment video. I just wanted to see what a PS1 game running on a PS3 would look like, and I figured, why the hell not, let's show off bloody Colony Wars, because not enough people are aware that Colony Wars is a thing. It's got a guy that sounds like James Earl Jones, but isn't James Earl Jones in it. Go look up, like, Colony Wars intro on YouTube. Colony Wars intro, Colony Wars opening. Try and find one that... Oh, it's just uh, loading a demo here. But try and find Colony Wars, the intro, in decent quality on YouTube and just watch that crap. It's so cool. <laughs> it's just... It's just, oh, it's just the ship blowing up and James Earl Jones, only it's not really James Earl Jones, and ugh. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm making any more sense now, so... Thank you for watching! Either go watch my videos, or if, if you want actual good things to watch, you could go and watch the Conley Wars cutscenes, and preferably even buy Conley Wars. There you go. Please make Conley Wars 4, Sony. I know you still have the license. Don't pretend like you don't. And goodbye, everyone else. Everyone who isn't Sony, you, you, you get a nice love, a lovely message. Sony gets an angry message. Uh, I'll sod off now.